How Domino's Pizza Beat Everyone Else Domino's. It's hard to imagine a world without it. The company single-handedly pioneered fast food delivery. Available in over 85 countries, Domino's is one of the world's biggest pizza chains. With a current valuation of $20 billion, not only is Domino's one of the world's leading fast food companies in the world, it's also one of the biggest businesses in the world. In this episode, we are going to take a look at exactly how Domino's went from a small pizza parlor to the global pizza empire that it is today. But before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be the first to be notified of new behind the business videos that we post every single week. Let's begin. The Domino's story started with two brothers, Tom and James Monahan, who borrowed $600 from their mother to buy a small pizza parlor in Michigan called Dominix. The duo ran this small business for about eight months, after which James traded in his half of the shares for a Volkswagen Beetle that was used by the company to make deliveries. Subsequently, the business was all Tom's. His first order of business was rebranding. He renamed the pizzeria to Domino's as it had a better ring to it. Then he started expanding its branches in the city. The secret behind the initial success of the pizza place was its streamlined identity. In essence, Domino's kept the good elements of the traditional pizza chain plus some improvements and made it consistent amongst all their outlets. In terms of the restaurant's menu, Tom didn't want to overdo it and kept it simple. Domino's only sold one kind of crust, which has now become their signature classic hand toss that came in just two sizes. The flavor options were also limited and there were no sides, which is what Domino's was known for. The only extra thing you could order was a simple two-liter bottle of soft drink to go alongside your pizza. While this might not sound appealing to us in this day and age, it was the right call at that point in time. With the right strategy in place, Domino's Pizza became so popular within Michigan, and that was when Tom saw the opportunity and slowly expanded his business into other cities. By the late 70s, Domino's had opened up around 200 franchises all over the city and had become a household name in America. In 1983, Domino's took the plunge and went international. Tom opened his first Canadian franchise in Winnipeg, and a few months after that, the pizza chain opened its 1,000th store. Domino's soon took over Australia and England and became a fan favorite with its signature approach to pizza. The secret behind the success of Domino's was the emphasis it put on innovation. And it was evident as in 1992, Domino's gave in to market demands and expanded its menu in terms of pizza size, flavors, and crust types. The brand saw a huge increase in their worth after introducing the deep dish pizza in 1989. And also when the brand launched their first ever non-pizza item, their famous breadsticks. These moves allowed Domino's to financially and socially solidify their place in the food industry. Domino's outweighed all of its competitors by the constant improvements the brand invested in. A huge part of the company's early success can also be owed to their incomparable delivery policies. To this day, the brand guarantees that their pizzas are delivered within 30 minutes. If it takes even a minute more, the customers are entitled to a full refund. This policy became a big part of pop culture, and the 30-minute slogan was advertised on countless films, TV shows, and even cartoons, allowing Domino's to become a household name. In 1994, Domino's opened its gates in Africa and enjoyed immense success there as well. With constant additions to their menu, they introduced items like chicken wings and dessert options, helping the brand become an international success because of its wide range of options. In 1996, Domino's launched its first ever website, which completely changed the game of pizza delivery. After the website launch, Domino's declared that its sales had gone over $3 billion. And the message was clear. People preferred the easy online delivery option to dining in. It was then that Domino's decided they had to invest in a foolproof delivery method that would ensure that the customers received the same quality of pizza at home as they would while dining in a Domino's franchise. 
It is important to note at this point that the belt-driven pizza oven was invented by Domino's to make sure their pizza quality remained nothing short of the best. Other than that, the brand introduced the use of cardboard boxes for pizza delivery, which were super effective at keeping the pizzas hot and fresh. These methods of pizza making and delivery have now become standard, but people should know that Domino's was the mastermind behind it all. Adding on to the brand's constant innovations, Domino's underwent a complete transformation around 1997 with a change of its logo and branding. All of the Domino's pizza stores were also renovated and given a fresh modern look to make the customers feel happy and at ease as soon as they stepped foot into a franchise. And the refresh worked. Domino's grew at an unbelievable rate with new stores popping up all over the world every day. The brand had customized menus for different parts of the world, helping it appeal to international taste buds unlike any other pizza place. With a squid pizza in Japan, a lamb and ginger pizza in India, along with a jalapeno pepper pizza in Mexico. Domino's has figured out that the key to international success relies on adaptation and reflection of local tastes which is what has made the pizza chain the number one fast food choice around the world. The pizza chain's unmatched success went on till the 2000s. Around 2004, Domino's was selling over a million pizzas every day, adding immensely to its worldwide sales. The brand had over 7,000 franchises all over the world and had no plans of stopping its global takeover. However, in 2007, Domino's started to come up with ways to make the pizza-making process more efficient, which included changes to the ingredients of the pizza. The individual changes to the ingredients were good, but collectively, it was not good and caused the pizza chain to suffer from a loss of customers because of their sudden drop in quality and service. It was a little hiccup in its journey with its competitor Pizza Hut taking over as the world's leading pizza chain. After the dark years, a new CEO in the form of Patrick Doyle was appointed for Domino's in 2010 and took on the challenge to reinvent the brand from scratch. Along with his team, Patrick worked hard to improve their pizza recipe and quality. The company introduced items such as the hand-tossed pizza and specialty chicken, which went on to become fan favorites. Patrick also launched a memorable ad campaign which featured many of the negative customer feedbacks the brand had received over the years, along with Patrick who admitted that all these complaints were valid. In the campaign, he encouraged customers to give Domino's another chance, which they happily did. Once that was done, Patrick invested heavily in the brand's technology and improved its online presence by a thousand times. He introduced the ever-famous Domino's app along with the voice ordering feature to make the delivery process more convenient. Since then, the brand has heavily relied on technological advancements to retain its credibility with its customers. As Mr. Patrick Doyle himself often will say, Domino's is a tech company that just happens to make pizzas. In fact, what makes Domino's stand out against its competitors is its continuous innovation and low price range, making it the number one pizza delivery option all over the world. With features like the Domino's Tracker, the Customer Loyalty Reward System, along with gluten-free and vegetarian pizza options, Domino's caters to every single market. Domino's is one of the very few international brands that has seen nothing but success since its launch. With their constant additions and improvements in terms of the menu and customer experience, Domino's has continued its success streak for many decades. Currently, the company's sales growth has seen a 5% increase every year for the past three years, proving that despite its recent setbacks, Domino's is all set to win over people's hearts once again. With unique innovations like pizza theaters, electric and self-driving delivery vehicles, along with the launch of Anywhere Ordering, allowing people to order Domino's through devices like smartwatches and TVs, Domino's is clearly going the extra mile to dominate the pizza industry. 
In April of 2019, Domino's announced the service called Hotspots, where people can get pizza delivered to parks, beaches, and other public spots without any physical address, making it all the more easy to satisfy all your pizza cravings. Well, Domino's is, of course, a pizza company. What has helped it retain its worth is the way Patrick has incorporated the use of technology within it. The brand has always focused on two things, quality and innovation. This strategy is what has helped Domino's overcome the hardest of times and stay on top of the fast food game for over 60 years now. With its constant expansion, it's safe to say that Domino's isn't going anywhere anytime soon. The brand's digital approach has made sure that Domino's will find no trouble in terms of service as it continues to take over new markets. Not every restaurant would be willing to do just about anything to make its customers happy. But with Domino's, getting your pizza fix has and always will be as convenient and delicious as ever. So today's question is, what is your favorite Domino's flavor on the market and why? Do let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be the first to be notified of new behind the business videos we post every week. Be inspired and we will see you in the next one. Since you made it all the way to this point, here are two more videos that we know you are going to love. Go on, click on it, you know you want to.